What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthexia and welcome back today to Stardew Valley here on Ronald Farms. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back. So today is going to be quite an exciting one and if you remember back to the end of last episode, basically what we did is we unlocked the brand new area for the Calico Desert. Well, that was good. I was very, very good and I decided to head back home without exploring it because I really wanted to explore it on an episode. So today what we're going to do is we're going to go and probably grab these parsnips because that's always good, right? And then we are going to go and head back out on the bus, the bus that Pam drives. Yeah, I'm not sure I trust Pam, really. Um, but yeah, we're going to go back to Calico Desert. We're going to go check it out. We're going to do some foraging. We're going to do some exploring. And everything is going to be pretty good times. So, other kind of plans for the um, next maybe episode or two is I really want to start looking into doing some house upgrades. So, the main one really is to try and build a kitchen. Because then we can start making certain recipes. And then, wow, I've got the beans ready as well. Oh, it's a happy harvest day. Uh, but yeah, once we actually get the kitchen running, we can then start making some items which are towards bundles. And we can also, uh, yeah, kind of get a bit more space in the house because we've got loads of items and they're all sort of cramped into one little room. So that would be awesome. And yeah, it should be pretty exciting. So let me just grab all of these crops and let's give them a sell. So that's a pretty decent little haul. You know, it kind of keeps the money ticking over. I don't think we've got enough stuff to replant, though. That's the problem. We've only got 15 parsnips. Oh, it's a sad day in the farm. Um, <laughs> we need to get to the shops and buy some more stuff because I'm kind of just using the parsnips. You know, I could have probably bought some more cauliflowers and sort of made the most of it. But now with only, what is it, 12 days left, I guess we could... Would cauliflowers grow in that time? Yeah, uh, I suppose they would, actually. Maybe we go to the shop, actually. You know what, let's go to the shop, and then maybe we should go to the desert today, tomorrow? I kind of want to go right now. I'm really excited. I want to see it, but there's farming to be done. Oh, it's tough being a farmer. Appears to be a little questicle. I am looking for someone to bring me 40 copper ores for inspection. Uh, okay, so Clint, as usual, is on his copper inspection. What? It's locked. What kind of service is this? Come on, Pierre. There we go. Fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, Clint has got a nice little quest for us. Let's see what's these. Oh, I'll tell you what we could do. No, 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 no. Let's not buy anything from him because they do unique seeds at the uh, Calico Desert, don't they? Oh, there's the bus driver. Come on, Pam. Let's go. Come on. Quicker. No, don't get it in the way. Stop running into my horse. What are you doing, Pam? Come on. We need to go. <laughs> We're going to go to the desert. We have to wait for the bus driver, which, of course, is the lovely Pam, who is the mother of the lady we are trying to marry, which, of course, is the beautiful and wonderful Penny. How are we doing with Penny? Are we doing all right? Hey, look at that. So a couple more hearts left to go. I'm just going to keep feeding her diamonds and hopefully fingers crossed. Come on, Pam. I want to... got a desert to explore. <laughs> Man, you need to get yourself a horse. You know what I mean? Or like a scooter or something. That would be cool. Uh, but yeah, so as I was saying... What was I saying? Oh yeah, we're going to buy some crops from the desert because we might as well. There's a few different ones that we've never grown before. So I'm sure some of them are pretty good for profit. But uh, for now, anyway, let's just buy a few. Uh, okay, so let's buy a ticket and let's ride to the desert. Exciting. There's going to be loads of stuff to forage as well. I think we need a few items for the bundles, but... I just kind of want to explore. Yeah, here we are. Back again. This is cool. All right, all right, all right. So let's, um, hmm. So what we'll do, let's go this way first. So I believe that this is something. I'm not too sure what it is just yet, but you can see it. it it's more gapes at the desert sun. Even in death, it yearns for a taste. What the heck is this thing? Like a big dinosaur or something? Maybe it is. Huh. Pretty cool. All right, let's go and see what's available in this shop. So this is the Oasis shop. Uh, oh, we need to actually catch a sandfish whilst we're here as well. So we've got a choice of rhubarb. Uh, star fruit is supposed to be really good, but it takes 13 days to mature in the summer. So summer is coming up. These are fall and these are spring. You know what? Let's plant some rhubarb. Oh, it takes 13 days and we've got 12 days left. No! What have I done? Was that a terrible idea? That was a terrible idea, lads. Oh! Um, Alright, let's just take four and hopefully they grow. But I'm not too sure about that. I do want to kind of keep some of my money because... I want to build a kitchen. But you know what we'll do? We are going to buy 24... 28? We're going to buy 28 star fruit and we're going to keep those for next... Um, ooh, deluxe speed grow. Should we buy four of these? Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Rhubarb's not important. So we're going to buy some star fruit and uh, we're going to grow that next 
next season, which won't be that long. So that's kind of good, because I think Starfruit, you get a lot of money from it, and I think if you ferment it, you get even more, but oh, we might just sell it. I don't know, we'll see. Uh, okay, let's go down here, let's check this out. So can we get down to this beach? I see a cactus and I want it. I can't get down there, I don't think. Huh, okay. So there seems to be a few things. We can't get on tops of on tops of these, which is really annoying because there's foraged items and I've got a bit of an obsession with foraging. I really enjoy it. Ooh. Hey. Oh, I think I know what this is. So this, I believe, has something to do with if we can get a prismatic shard, we can come here and get something awesome, I think. Oh, and there's a cave. Oh, oh I think I know what this is. Hey, you remember ages ago when we got ourselves this skull key? I think... Oh, yes, there's a skull on the door. Woo! You insert the skull key into the keyhole. It's a perfect fit. Oh, I love it when something works. All right, let's not go in there just yet. Let's... um Gathering? No, that's not what I need. Uh, I want to see if I can catch one of these fish. Hang on, we need a sand fish for a bundle. So, let's see what we can do. But yeah, anyway, whilst I'm fishing quickly, just wanted to say a massive thank you to everyone uh, who has been watching the Stardew Valley series. So, uh, recently, as I'm sure you guys know, the channel has been doing much better, which is awesome to see. It's so, so nice. And uh, more people have been coming over to Stardew Valley, which I think is great. Uh, you know, as I kind of mentioned a few times, the channel has always been built around Minecraft, and I love it, especially now with the Crazy Craft. It's just super, super fun. But it's also really, really nice to be playing something else that is just so chill and relaxing. Yes, we've got a sandfish! That was easy. <laughs> Let's get it here. So, uh, yeah, thank you very, very much for all your support, for dropping those like ratings. It means an awful lot to me. Ah, I know where we are now. Okay, so this is a very special mine system, and I believe um, that this thing kind of, like, basically never ends. So it's all about efficiency when mining, and essentially it's how far you can go down. So I believe that the best way of doing this is basically just bombing it and seeing how far you can get, because the lower you get, the higher chance of iridium ore you've got. So iridium ore is useful for many things, but the, the sprinklers, the iridium sprinklers, would be epic. Um, ooh. Hey, Penny likes these as well. Emeralds! Pretty cool, pretty cool. So we don't really have any bombs or anything just now, so we're just going to have, like, a little sort of mine about. Hopefully we can maybe find, like, a couple of iridium, but we will... Whoa, that doesn't do any damage. What?! Ah, that's interesting. Okay, so th do these guys track me? I don't think they do. Oh, that's new. Okay, so these guys you just have to avoid, basically, I think. Ah, pretty nifty. All right, let's see if we can find a way down. So I'm not going to be taking this particular trip too seriously because, of course, um, we really don't have the gears right now. We don't have the bombs. But uh, and we don't also have any uh, staircases which we can make to drop down layers. But let's just have a little look. Let's see how far we can go just on very basic materials and basic mining. I can't find the way down. This is a terrible start. Ha! There we go. Level two. So there should be just some basic cores. I don't really think we're going to even find any of what we're looking for. The, um, the thingamajigs. But, ooh, big slimes. Hey, you. So I have a funny feeling these may actually drop uh, ingots. Uranium ingots, maybe, as a chance. Oh, little slimes everywhere! Die! Die, you beasts! Come on! Yes! <laughs> oh, they're so cute! That's annoying as well. Oh, do they hit hard? No, they're okay, they're okay. Wow, these things have got a lot of health, huh? Jeez. Okay, cool. So, the name of the game, really, is just doing a bit of exploring and seeing what we can find. Is there anything good? Oh, this is actually quite a big cave system. I don't think we're going to get that deep today, to be honest with you. Um... I'd be lucky if to, to get to, like, level 5. Ooh. Loads of rocks. Oh, wow. Okay. We're just going to go down because I think that's probably what you're supposed to do. Uh, let's just have a little poke around. So I'm on the lookout as well for prismatic shards. And I think that is something to do with the weird item thing at the top. Because if we do manage to get a prismatic shard, I think that if we present it there, then something cool happens. I think. I'm not too sure, though. Let's grab this. Oh, weird thing. What the heck is this? <laughs> Ew, that thing was horrible. It was like a big dragon thing. I don't know what that was. That was weird. Okay, so we got down to level five. Wow. Well done, James. GG. Yeah, this really isn't that far. And we've not seen a single piece of iridium, so we definitely need to be going much deeper. We need to be getting lots of bombs. Now, the thing about the bombs is I believe you can buy them from the dwarf, but we haven't found the four scrolls yet. We've only actually found two scrolls. And if we find all four, then we'll be able to, like, read his language and we'll be able to trade with him. So I think those actually exist in... Uh... Ooh, there's some diamond. I'm going to grab you. 
Thank you very much. Um, so I think those actually exist in the normal mines, but we just haven't got deep enough yet. It's been kind of annoying to try and find them, so maybe there's a little trick I'm missing. I'm not too sure. We've only ever found two, which is kind of annoying. Someone told me that you can, like, if you dig this stuff up, then there's a chance of finding dwarven scrolls. Not, well, not in these mines, but in the other mines. Uh, but I tried it, and I didn't find anything, so... Huh. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe we can get, like, one or two more layers down. Ooh! Omni Geode, I'll take that. Uh, what can I get rid of? What can I get rid of? Uh, algae, be gone. Hey, down one more level. Oh god, there's mummies here. Ooh. <laughs> oh god. Oh god, there's quite a few of them. Okay, 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 okay. There's two. It's okay. We're good, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. So I think there's like not check. Oh, I know these guys. Oh, you can't destroy these unless you've got bombs. Oh, I'm gonna die. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. Oh god, there's like three or four mummies. Oh god. Uh <laughs> <laughs> this isn't good. We're gonna strafe him. We're gonna strafe him. There's no uranium here either. There's like five mummies all coming to get me. So you need to blow those guys up with bombs. Ah oh, man, we didn't do very well at all. Not a single piece of uranium. We're so high up though. That's the thing. Ah. <sighs> But that was pretty cool, so we'll definitely try and get prepped for that in the future. We'll grab ourselves loads and loads of bombs and see what we can do. The question being, this is what I'm curious about, though. If we go to the oasis, um, it's this guy. And I wonder what we do. Huh. He doesn't say anything. Bouncer. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't really know. Hmm. So, I suppose it's about time to head back. Um, that was cool. So, definitely that mine is going to be really important, I think, later on in the game. But as of right now, we just don't have enough bombs, and we don't have, like... We need coffee. Coffee is good for, um, the loyalty to your horse. Oh, thank you. <laughs> good old loyal horse. Um, but yeah, we need some coffee, which I think speeds you up. We also need better healing items, and we also need loads of bombs, and we'll be able to get deeper, because as well as the um, stairs that go down, I do also believe there are holes, and that'll drop you down between, like, three and eight layers or something. I can't quite remember the exact one, but take these berries. Yeah, really cool. So we've got a few items here for the foraging bundle, I believe. So let's go and check this out. I wonder if there's any in the enchanter's bundle that we picked up, out of interest. Uh, anything here? No. Red cabbage, aquamarine, duck feather? No. What about the chef's bundle? No, this is stuff we need to make. Uh, fodder bundle? Nope. Enchanter's bundle? Nope. Pomegranate? Damn it. Hmm. What about this side? It must be on this side. Let's go and check this out. So I think up here... Dun dun dun! What have we got? What have we got? What have we got? Nope, not that one. Uh, this one? Nope. It must be this one then. What? Where's the one I'm looking for? I swear there was a cactus somewhere. Ah, oh, well, I think maybe we actually accidentally completed it, but no bother because we actually have the sandfish one. Woohoo! So, oh, the glittering boulder has been removed. Hey! What's this? Fish uh, dish of the sea. Oh, nice. Okay, I'll grab that. Hey, so we are going to get... Oh, the, I know where the glittering boulder is. That's next to the original mine shaft. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go back today and let's have a little sleep. Let's go and sell all of these items like the coconuts and the cactus fruit and stuff. And then let's go and check out the glittering boulder tomorrow. Oh, it's exciting. Righty-o, here we go. So day 19, it's Friday. Awesome. So I could really do with a lucky day. Uh, the spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll get an extra look. So I've got a load of geodes, which I could really do with breaking. Um, is anything grown here? Uh, just a couple of these guys. We need to go to the shop and we need to buy some more crops to fill in these. So we'll just probably grab some more parsnips because why the heck not, right? Um, because we're just getting random parsnips now. Our mayonnaise is ready. Excellent. Oh, we got a letter. Hey, what's this say? Uh, I see you've entered the Skull Cavern. Well done. I've got a better challenge for you, kid. Make it at least 25 levels deep. I've got a mountain of gold to send if you can do it. Your friend, Mr. QI. Huh. Level 25, huh? Well, if we get enough bombs and we just find the exits, I don't think that'll be too much of an issue. Nice. So that's a little quest for us. That's exciting. We've only got two bombs. <laughs> can we make bombs out of interest? Is that something we can do? Uh, oh, we can. Oh, it's four iron ore per bomb, though. That's quite expensive, isn't it? That's gold, solar essence, and void essence. We got some, got some of those, but... Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, that's pretty exciting. What I want to do, actually, is I want to go and crack a load of these geodes, because we're starting to mass a ton of them up, and I could do with maybe just getting rid of them, so I can try and complete some more of the uh, Gunther quests. 
So, let's clear up some space. Let's go and do that. Wait a second. I let my chickens escape. <laughs> oh no, dudes, what are you doing? Justin. I bet this is Dan. Is this Dan? Zombie? What are you doing out, zombie? Why is everyone annoyed at me? No, why are you guys out? You shouldn't be out. Oh, did my walls break overnight or something? God damn it. That's really annoying. Uh, okay, so how on earth do I get them back inside? Do I just have to wait a day and then they'll go back in or what? I actually have no idea. I've never had a chicken escape before. Oh, you guys. Okie dokie. So here goes nothing. Let's see what good old Clint can do for us. Oh, I forgot to bring his oars. Oh, never mind. I don't think I've got 40. Oh, what's that? Is that new? Uh, Jamba right now, I think we've got one of those. So I'm really hoping for some new items here to hand into Gunther because we haven't given him anything for ages. Although these seem to be items that we've already got, which is not ideal. Come on. Give me something new. Jagite. We've had that before. Stone. I'm supposed to be having a little bit of extra luck today. What is going on? Uh, what is that? Mudstone? Wow. Okay, that was rubbish. <laughs> that was really bad. Uh, let's see if we can get anything from these. What is that? Pyrite. Clay. Oh, man, this is not going well. What's that? Sort of air knight? Oh, that might be a new one. A bit of iron. Got ourselves... Oh, that looks new as well. Possibly ghost crystal. Yeah, that's definitely new. Nice. Okay, cool. So, let's go and see what's cracking. We've not spoken to Gunther for ages. I've missed him. How are you doing, buddy? Ooh, let's go in here. Oh, God. No, open. There we go. Ah, here he is. Oh, penny, 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 penny. Where's my diamonds? Give her a diamond. Love me. Please. Come here. Love me. Yes, thank you. I really love this. Yeah, you do. You've already given two power. I can't stop giving you dishes, dishes, dishes. Oh, if my mother wasn't always nursing a headache from her late nights at the saloon, maybe she could help around a little. She's driving the bus to the desert. Did you know that, Penny? She might not even have a driving license. It's really dangerous. It is really dangerous. <laughs> okay, donate to the museum. Oh, we got one more item, so that's all we can hand in. But there we go. <sighs> I was expecting a bit more. I was expecting more. We need to do some more mining, dudes. That's what we need to do. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do now. Let's go and... Do you want this? This isn't very fun. Oh, you ungrateful sausage. So the moment of truth is nearly here. What is behind the sparkly boulder? Ooh, very cool. Let's go and check this out. So I've been eyeing this up for a long time. And I did wonder when on earth we were going to be able to see what was behind it. Ooh, there's a leak there. I will take you, leak. Thank you very much. Yes. You know what? Let's give this leak to this dude. <laughs> he uh, he doesn't have a home, so there you go. This is a great gift. You're welcome, Linus. You're so welcome, dude. And I thought this was the sparkly boulder. Ha! Huh. As promised, I come bearing wood. Yes. Uh, yeah, I bought some seeds. We're really low on money. We need that strawberry harvest bad. All right, upgrade house. Uh, 10,000 gold, 450 pieces of wood. There you go. Thank you. I'll get started tomorrow. It should be finished in around three days. Hey. Okay, cool. So, uh, we've got that, that to look forward to. It means we can get a kitchen, a bigger house, we've got more space, and we can start making stuff, like, food-wise. Also, if we are to be wedding Penny, apparently she loves her cooking, so that's gonna be a big plus. You know what I mean? If you wanna woo a lady, have a lovely kitchen, and be like, hey, you know what I mean? This is good. We can make some lovely, lovely enchiladas together. We can have fajita night. It will be brilliant. Uh, yeah, as well as that, Penny, we've, uh, got another heart with her. Look at that. Eleven hearts. Is that eleven? Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, oh, nine. Okay, nine out of ten. Pretty good, lads. Pretty good. Uh, ooh, look at that. Day 20. All is miserable. Look at the weather. Okay, so we've finally got our house. Look at this. Our diamond has been duped, which is awesome. So let's stick another one in. Uh, thanks. This is really nice. Oh, I just gave it away. <laughs> I had a diamond for two seconds and I just gave it away. What a generous guy. So I'm a little bit concerned that this boulder sort of cutscene hasn't come yet. We definitely did unlock it, right? So that's kind of weird. But maybe we're just supposed to stay up later on into the night. I haven't stayed up until it's got dark yet. So maybe what we'll do is I'm just going to kick around for a bit today. Um, and then see what happens later on. So it's raining, which is kind of good. I might go and do a little bit of just chill mining. Oh, look at my place is falling apart. <laughs> oh, stone walls, why have you betrayed me? Well, okay, so I've just been to the mines doing a bit of digging. I've just realized I I'm an idiot. Uh, <laughs> the glittering boulder is only removed when we complete the entire fishing bundle. Ah. Oh. That was really dumb. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry for everyone that was like, James, you fool. What are you doing? Yeah, we need to complete the other bundles. So we need to get the fish in the other um, 
seasons, which is kind of obvious to be honest with you, but we may have we may have made a, a mistake there. <laughs> Oops, but it's all good, it's all good. So we still have like a few more fish to go, but we really don't have that many at all, which is super exciting. So when the next months roll in, we will get that done as soon as possible and then finally remove ourselves the glittering boulder. So I've got a few bits and pieces from the mines, nothing too special. I was looking for the dwarf scrolls, but oh, it's raining again. Oh, dude. Oh well, okay, so I think that is going to be about it for today's Stardew Valley episode. So thank you so, so much for watching and for the support on the series. If you are enjoying the series, please remember to poke me in that like button before you leave. And if you're not yet subscribed, go for it because we do Stardew Valley done fun. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Let's see ya.